Ow! <laughs> Let's see what's in the Toro Super Recycler box. It's probably a Toro Super well, Recycler. Right, but... What? They sent you a little tool. Oh, it's over there. Typical. You get a new toy and the kids just want to play with the box. It's black. Look at it. It is cool. But this thing isn't going to cut a whole lot off of my lawn, so we got to go try it out somewhere else. So I'm not going to lie, normally I don't like to read words, but I think that the manual needs just a tiny bit more description. Um, it's not exactly complicated, I guess, as a mower, but I really, it should be like a pop-up picture book. Yeah, that'd be better. What does this mean? Turtle. <laughs> Turtle goes that way. Slow, like, normally you would think that that would be the throttle, but I think they're just saying slowly put the pull cord in this loop. Yes. Anyway. All right, check it. Guaranteed to start. We'll see about that. We'll see about that. Hi, I'm Left Tool. And this is my backyard that hasn't really grown yet. The only thing I've got back here are weeds. Still waiting for temperatures to come up, but uh, just got this here mower thing over here. They call it a rotary, uh, foreign to me, but uh, this grass is not quite long enough to do much damage to it, but just kind of get it out here and test it out and see what happens. What else was I supposed to say? Yeah, well, we just have some weeds here. The grass is probably gonna explode next week, but the weeds, nuts sedge, have already started to go crazy. So we need to spray Left Tools lawn. And if we are gonna mow it at some point, we need to bag it instead of probably super recycle it. So let's go find something we can recycle. Yeah! So now we're gonna try side discharging something. Easy as one, two, three. I think we have the four point adjustment system here. Yep, all four wheels gotta be adjusted. Uh, what do you think? How low should I go? I should go higher than that on this part, huh? Yes. Well, it mows clover pretty well. This is the section that Left Tool needs to renovate this year for sure. Well, it's not actually his yard. It's close to my yard. There's my house. <laughs> There's this yard. There's no fence. Somebody's got to take care of it. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> Stop. So the true test is tall grass. I'm gonna mow through this tall grass because I wanna see if it bogs down when you try to get it really low. You know that scalp that you do that you're not supposed to do when you cut off too much grass and it's too tall? We're gonna do that.
let me tell you, I guess, I don't know when I wanted to get into the review part of this, but let me, real quick, what I'm used to is a $200 mower from Lowe's, and this is like 18 steps up from that. I don't, I don't, it's, I don't think it's in the same ballpark. I'm talking about like entry level cheap mower versus this is probably middle of the line. So they've got, you know, this one at somewhere around the $500 mark. I, maybe I shouldn't say a dollar amount because I don't know exactly. So don't quote me on that. Somewhere in there. And then the Time Master is like a thousand bucks. So this one is their middle of the line but it feels like a Cadillac to me. It's so smooth and the, uh, the personal pace system is awesome. It just makes it buttery smooth. That's definitely not something. I, my, my mower had a self-propel. That's just not the same. Personal pace just moves with you. When you push on it and you walk behind it, it just moves as you move. You move faster, it moves faster. It's, it's pretty sweet. But let's see how the Super Recycler does super recycling on the tall grass. It's still buttery smooth. Uh, I kind of want to see how fast it goes. I'm not going to go running or anything, but I'd, I want to go a little bit quick. It's it's flying. It's not slowing down at all in this thick grass. So uh, let's test out some speed here. So I basically had the pedal to the metal. This was as far down as it could go, as fast as it could go. I only got it to bog down like twice, just barely through some of that really thick stuff. And most of it's because when the city mows this, they leave a huge pile of all the dead clippings everywhere. And that's what I ran into. That's when it kind of bogged down a little bit, but not really. Whereas my other mower definitely would have stopped for sure. Again, maybe not fair to compare it to the $200 mower from whatever, but that's what I'm comparing it to because that's all I know. Tell me about your bad gas situation. Yeah, so there is a uh, point of improvement because when I put gas in here, I had my Fuelworks gas can. Maybe I was doing it wrong, but I do it like I do every other mower and just put it up there. You push down on the little safety switch and the gas goes in. The gas flew up out of here and I thought, whoa, what in the world? What did I do wrong? Did I miss? So then I turned to a different angle, went at it again and gas splashed up again. So I don't know if it's the design of the gas tank or if it's that Fuelworks gas can just pumping out gas way too fast. But like I said, maybe a point of improvement there because I don't know what happened. Maybe I'm the only person that that's happened to. I don't know. Solid. So I guess in conclusion, just as far as a review goes, overall, like I said, at least 18 times better than the mower I've had before. Uh, it's solid, it's really smooth, it's really powerful. Like I couldn't get it to bog down. Maybe I'll try later on to take it through some really tall grass, but that I don't. that's obviously not what it's made for. So thanks to Toro for sending us this mower. This is a massive upgrade. We'll definitely keep you posted in the future because this is our main rotary mower now. We're gonna use it for anything. We need to pick up clippings, we need to pick up thatch. Like that's what I use my other mower for with the bagger system. That's almost all that I used it for. I do have some spots that are gonna need rotary mode in my yard. So I'll still be using this for sure in the future. And I'll keep you posted on updates as I use it over time. But for now, I, I think it's great. I mean, it's smooth as all get out. And, and that's totally new to me, which is really cool. Where's the bed knife? Not gonna lie, I did not think that was gonna go that well. <laughs> I've got it all the way on high, but this grass is literally, what, three feet? Three and a half feet? <laughs> uh, that's impressive, straight up.